presentation of TFNN. The Tom O'Brien Show is produced every business day. Tom takes your phone calls toll-free at 1-877-927-6648. Internationally at 727-873-7618. Let's go to uh, Al in Tampa. Hey, Al, what's going on? Oh, it's a beautiful thing. I mean, if your listeners don't get the gold report, they're, uh, they're missing out. I mean, you're, with your gold report, you're just printing money. I love it. Uh, you're my best dad out there, Al. Let's go to uh, Jeff in New Jersey. Hey, Jeff, what's going on? Great. Uh, hey, listen, I was calling to thank you. Uh, a few weeks ago, you were prompting on your show to fill out that uh, $10,000 uh, grant. Yes. So I filled it out, and um, just a couple days ago, I found $1,000 in my business checking account. That's awesome, man. That's awesome. Yeah. And I, I owe it to you, because it, uh, if it wasn't for your prompting, I, I would have just assumed, you know, no way I would have gotten anything. So I, I wanted to thank you. No, we appreciate you growling a problem with us yet. No. Now, Tom O'Brien. Welcome, folks. This is Tom O'Brien of TFNN. We go five days a week. We go seven hours a day. We go 24 hours a day in the internet at TFNN.com. Always remember, folks, whatever you think about, you bring about. Whatever you focus on grows. Hope everyone's having a great day, safe day. Let's make it a great night, folks. Accept your own beauty. You are beautiful no matter what your mind tells you. That is a fact. If you are aware of your own beauty and accept your own beauty, the opinions of others don't affect you at all. Market wise, let's take a look at it out here. We have the Dow Industrials down 249, NASDAQ's up 31, SP's off 9.5. Gold, gold contract down $16.90, trading out at 2020 an ounce. We have silver down. $1.27, $24.38 an ounce. Light sweet crude down a buck sixty-three. $70.93 a barrel. Notes and bonds. The 10-year note up four ticks, trading 116.01. The 30-year up 27 at 131.17 and King Dollar. King Dollar's up 580 ticks, trading 102.057. The euro is at 109. The yen is at 134. And the British pound is at 125 to 1 US dollar. Our phone number is 877-927-6648. Give us a call, folks. Want to know what's going on in your world? In the world of the S&Ps, let's take a look at it. We have some heavy divergence, folks, and this is what it is. You get the S&Ps have been going all over the place, but yet the dollar is up 570 ticks, and it's not affecting the S&P because when the dollar goes 570 ticks, the bottom line is that, yeah, we've had the spread in the S&P out here today of 47 points. From the highs to the lows, you're still only down seven, and that's not bad from where we are, but what ends up happening, the divergence comes in the aspect that the dollar is getting some breath behind it. So if we take a look at this, if we take a look at the SPY first off, we put this on a daily first, you get an inside day right now, and there's a big contraction going out here. Yesterday we had some volume. Yesterday we had, uh, that was banging out 96 million, you're only at 49 million today. If we go into the gold, you're gonna see that, you know, the dollar's taking the gold south. Bottom line, you know, you, you take a look at this gold, you get, uh, you're going down with 270,000 contracts, it's going into 280, so that's a big downdraft, there's no doubt about it. You're down 17 bucks right now. I suspect, you know, the bottom of this trading range that we're in in, in gold, it, well, first off, gold is a confirmed ABC structure up. That being said, bottom line, you're, now in a complex ABC structure up because you got below the B point once again, so it means you can go to the bottom of the consolidation, which runs out there at about 1900. We go take a look at the Qs, because the Qs, what the Qs did yesterday, the Qs took its swing point out, took it out with volume. Big volume out here yesterday. Um, you know, it's to get a small ABC up actually, okay? You know, you have a contraction out here today, but guess what? That this, the Qs still want higher price. That's, that's how I read this, okay? You took a swing point out, you took it out with volume, that's saying it wants higher price. Now, this is where it gets really <laughs> a deviant because if we go over to the dollar, well, actually, let's, let's look at oil first because the 
King Dollar here is also taking oil, oil, oil south. With, with King Dollar going higher, it'll take every commodity south. And this, this move to me looks like this time, it looks like it's going to run to that 106 when we get to it for a second. So you have the oil contract down a buck 63. That's trading 325,000 contracts. So we look at that. That's, a, that's not really an expansion of volume yet, okay? But the bottom line is that when you take a look at this, oil hardly bounced at all. In fact, well, no, it did. It that bounced to a 0.50 of, the, of the, the leg down, you know, because we, we had got into that $63 area. Right now you're at 70 Now if we get over to the dollar and take a look at the dollar, you're going to see the expansion on the dollar. <coughs> So you can see the dollar out here today. The low was 101.304. You're at, we went to a high of 101, 102, 153. And right now the dollar is hanging tough, man. You know, you're hanging tough up there. So what you can see, if we go all the way back to January, that's when the dollar made that low of 100.62. That's one low. The next low came in in April. That was a higher low. The next one came in at the end of April, which is a higher low. The next one came in in May, which was a higher low. And if this is, this is it, if this is going to go back to that 106 bottom line, what should happen is that you're going to get more selling pressure inside the S&P. And we can, we'll see how that shakes out because this S&P today, I mean, you talk about, hey, check this out, man. I mean, this is, this is about as volatile as you can get. And this does happen, we're in, we're in a consolidation, folks, okay? And no doubt it's going to break one way or the other. And this is how consolidations do trade. That's, that's the bottom line. Now, that being said, I suspect 20 minutes ago, that bar is a high volume bar. When we got to that, uh, we're at 41, 44 right now. That 41, 46 is going to get tested again because... You did have an expansion of volume up there. Now we'll see if the test is lighter volume. The test is lighter volume. It's going to send it right back downtown. So a little tricky out here, but bottom line, it is what it is. We got to take a look at some of the higher. Oh no, let's go to the bond market because notes and bonds want higher price, lower yield. It's pretty wild, man. I mean, you take a look at this. It that you did 1.5 million contracts out here in the 10. You're getting closer and closer to the highs. Right now, you're at the 116.07. The highs come in at approximately 117. And we've been up here one, two, three, four, five times. And this will be the sixth time back in the last six months. You know, so if you break that, then you get a monster ABC structure on the way up. And if we look at the rate structure right now, you're at 3.3. And the high has been four. So we're off seven tenths of 1%, which is a huge move in the context of where we've been. Stay right there, folks. We'll come back with our man, Mr. Tim Ord. We're going to be slicing and dicing these markets up. Right now, we have the Dow Industrials uh, down uh, 242. NASDAQ is up 38. S&Ps are up 7. We have the gold market uh, getting hit down here. We're down 16 bucks. You get silver off a buck 26. Platinum's off 16. We're going to be right back. Currencies, commodities, and bond markets are as important as ever right now with how they're driving the volatility in equity markets across the globe, which is why it's a great time to try out Teddy Kegstat's Tiger Forex Report. Teddy Kegstat breaks down the Forex markets every Monday using his 30-plus years of experience as a trading veteran of futures, Forex, stocks, and options. Teddy releases his weekly Tiger Forex Report every Monday morning with coverage of all the major currency pairs, including the dollar index, the euro dollar, pound dollar, dollar Swiss, dollar yen as well as many more and he also has weekly coverage of the crude oil market and the 30-year t-bonds as they both influence forex markets tremendously when you sign up for the tiger forex report you also gain instant access to teddy's 60-minute webinar archive he just hosted forex strategies and fundamentals what is behind the tiger forex report for all the details and to start your 30-day tiger forex report subscription today visit the front page of tfnn.com tfnn educating investors are you looking for a way to consistently add winning trades to your portfolio? Tom O'Brien is here to help. 
Tom O'Brien has been successfully trading markets for over 30 years. A frequent contributor to TD Ameritrade Network and CNBC, Tom O'Brien founded TFNN over 20 years ago to help educate investors just like you. Tom's daily market newsletter, Market Insights, is published every morning when the markets open to give you the competitive informational edge you need to succeed. These newsletters are packed full of Tom's advanced technical analysis and are geared to deliver comprehensive strategies for a successful portfolio. Get Tom O'Brien's newsletter, Market Insights, today and try all of our products and newsletters 30 days risk-free with our money-back guarantee at TFNN.com. TFNN, educating investors. Everything in the universe is governed by the Fibonacci sequence. This mathematical principle is responsible for everything from the most aesthetically pleasing artwork to patterns in the stock market. To stay on top of stock patterns you can take advantage of, sign up for the Fibonacci 24-7 newsletter at TFNN.com. When you subscribe, you'll get a weekly report from veteran day trader Larry Pesavento on stocks you need to pay attention to. And you can trust Larry's analysis. After all, he's got 45 years experience as a day trader. Larry will also provide daily charts, videos, and data on the key markets that he's tracking. Expect notifications from Larry on market movement you need to act on at any time. First-time subscribers also get a 30-day money-back guarantee. If you're not satisfied, let us know and you'll get a full refund within 30 days of signing up. Subscribe to the Fibonacci 24-7 newsletter today. TFNN.com. Educating investors. Call now, toll free at 1-877-927-6648. Internationally at 727-873-7618. Welcome back, folks. Uh, Dow. Dow Industrials right now are trading down 275. We got the NASDAQ up 24. S&Ps are off 12. Let's get over our man, Mr. Tim Ord, as we do each and every Thursday at 20 past the hour. You can reach Tim Ord at Ord-Oracle, O-R-C-L-E.com. That's Ord-Oracle.com. Um, and Tim's going to be doing a workshop for all of us at TFNN, um, you know, quite... Uh, it's quite soon, okay? That's the bottom line. So we'll get this uh, baby going. Tim Ord, what's going on? Great. Well, thanks for having me on again. So, uh, yeah, I'm putting the seminar together. So I'm more than halfway done. So Nice. Um, so we got to pick a date sometime here fairly soon. So, and we will do that. Um, That's a beautiful thing. Okay. I love it. All right. Because right, Tim has good. a lot of great tools, folks, that he's willing to share. So we're going to get our heads wrapped around this. Right. Okay. Let's actually start here. We're, we're going to that one of these charts we showed last week, and I, and I want to put that chart out first, which is chart number one. Then we're going to go to chart number two. Okay. And the only reason why I'm doing this combination, there are two different charts. They show two different types of indicators, but they come out and give you approximately a, a time frame and a high price. Uh, in other words, I'll, I'll give you approximately where the, t the time will, will be and, and approximately where the price will be. Uh, so you'll have price and time nice. when these two indicators are combined. So anyhow. Uh, okay, so I have the first here, chart up. I, well, actually, uh, hold it. Tell me what the first chart is you want. All right. The first chart is that uh, monthly sil silver gold ratio, which is chart one. Okay, I have that. That's what I, I have it. I have the, that's the XAU, the ratio at lows, right? Is that the one? Uh, well, the middle chart is yeah, it's silver gold ratio. Okay, one second. Let me see. I have them all right in front of me. I just forget what one I did. Yeah. Yeah, I have it. Okay, good. Yes, that's the first one I have. Yes. Right. Yeah. Okay. This chart goes back to 1984. Yep. And I got three different indicators on it, and the, the top chart is the uh, XAU. Right. So th this is a yeah. This is a monthly chart. So okay. This is like looks at the bigger time frames. They don't give many many signals, but the signals they do give are usually really accurate. And so you always start with the bigger time frames and work backwards. So yes. Anyhow, this chart goes back to 1994. I had three indicators. The bottom one is a percent B. All that does, the percent B is it basically tells you where that uh, index is in relation to the Bollinger Band. So if it's below zero, it's hitting a lower Bollinger Band. This is at 50. 
is at the mid Bollinger Band, and it hits uh, above one is at the upper Bollinger Band. So that's what percent B is. Next one up, uh, second up from the bottom is the rate of change, and that's just a 12 day average rate of change. So it, me- it measures acceleration of that index you're you're monitoring. Uh, yes. So the faster it goes, the more um, you'll get to extremes. And that's what you were trying to define. And RSI is kind of a momentum indicator, too. So anyhow, I circled in red the signals that were triggered. You only need two of the three. You can have all three, but if you only have one, you don't have a signal. Okay. Uh, so, and those blue dotted lines up and down when those signals occurred. And, you know, uh, going back to, it uh, looks like uh, oh, 1986, there was a signal, uh, and that tr- was triggered uh, when the uh, monthly gold silver triggered uh, the percent B, ROC, and actually RSI. So that was a buy signal. Then uh, it, that index or uh, silver gold ratio went up, and the XAU went up 130%. Uh, next, yep. And here's why we really want to point out. I got a red line drawn all the way across, you know, from 1984 to the current time yes, frame. We see on that. the bottom of the silver gold ratio. Right. And I just, you know, I just want to point out that that's historically cheap. When that ratio gets that cheap, you're usually at some significant low. And it happened in 1920 or uh, 2020. And it happened again in, uh, you know, 2022, probably, or actually 2022 of August. Okay. So it's unusually cheap to get that to get that low. So I wanted to point that out. But anyhow, I went through and, and labeled all the appreciation when those signals were trigger, triggered on the monthly gold-silver ratio. The least one was 95%, and the most uh, percent gain was 383 3%. That's well, pretty cool, man. This, yeah. This, uh, uh, signal was triggered was in August of last year. So, and so if you take the minimum, which is basically 100%, because there's only one below 100%, that would give a, a projection on the XAU up around 200, because it was around um, approximately 100 back in August of last year. Right. And we're trading so, 133 right now, folks. So that's 70 more SM, uh, XAU points. Yeah, which is awesome. And remember, folks, this right. program's archived so you can get this program if you happen to be driving in your car or whatever. You can see the visuals, you know, tonight on your program. Okay, so, Tim, go ahead. Sorry. All right. No, that's, that's fine. So anyhow, um, so that gives 100% gain. So let's now flip to the second chart. Okay. So we got a projection. On the XU, say 100, probably more, but at least 100. Yep, okay, so I have the second chart, shot up. Yeah, so this chart, the bottom window is the 18 uh, day average of the advanced decline percent for GDX. Okay. And the second window up uh, is the 18 day average of the up down volume percent. Yes. And every time, and every time these, both these indicators get above 40, which are, uh, Identified with uh, red lines, uh, you know, vertical I see lines. them. Yep, and uh, and I call those surge patterns. Okay. So even though they got really overbought, uh, it's kind of like initiation of an uptrend. What it is, I see. And so it's, it's not the end of the move. It's it's really kind of an explosion of a move. And the last time we had it was uh, uh, October of 2021. It kind of went sideways for a while, then kind of exploded up into. Looks like about uh, early 2022. And we just had one here in April, actually, April 4th. I got them labeled there. April 4th, we had yes. uh, the bottom window was uh, 45.98, and the other one was uh, 42.36 on April 4th. So uh, then I labeled the times how long those rallies lasted. Okay. And they lasted. Um, Anywhere from at minimum six months to, uh, to re- minimum three months to six months. And several of them were around four or five months. So I kind of took the average of those two, and I call it four or five months out. So they were triggered April 4th. So you expect a, uh, a high time-wise around April, around August uh, to a September time frame of this year. Won't be the final high. 
what will be the high of this surge pattern. So, and the surge pattern will be kind of still straight up, even though we've been going sideways here for a week or two. You know, it, it, we haven't reached the, the level yet. Right. It looks like a little wise. consolidation yes. we have right now. Right, right. Yeah, right. Tim, just stay so there for a second, okay? We're going to have a quick break and bring you right back, okay? Okay. So Dow right now, folks, is down 266. You get the Nasdaq up 27. S&Ps are down 10. Stay right there, man. It's Mr. Tim Moore. It's going to be coming back, and we're going to be slicing and dicing right now the GDX. We just did the XAU. Uh, we're coming right back, folks. Gold Report. As a precious metal, gold is still king. It continues to hold the most effective safe haven and hedging properties across the global major trading hubs of the London OTC market, the U.S. futures market, and the Shanghai Gold Exchange. The Gold Report. Tom O'Brien publishes his weekly Gold Report every Monday morning for subscribers, consisting of coverage of the XAU, HUI, GDX, the dollar, bonds, the South African Rand, as well as 25 different mining equities with specific buy-sell recommendations. The Gold Report. New subscribers get a 30-day money-back guarantee so you have nothing to risk. Subscribe to Tom O'Brien's Gold Report newsletter now at TFNN.com. Sharpening your skills as an investor is like getting better at playing a musical instrument. You have to practice, sure, but you also need excellent instruction from experts. At TFNN, you'll get advice and guidance from the authority in technical market analysis. And it's not just dry, tedious text either. TFNN airs live financial content streamed live on TFNN.com and TFNN's YouTube channel with Tiger TV. Live every market day from 8.30 a.m. to 4 p.m. Eastern for free. Each host is an experienced trader and gives their take on the market while taking calls and questions live from around the world. From the moment the market opens until the closing bell sounds, Tiger TV has eight different shows with expert hosts to help you make the right moves with your money. Watch online at TFNN.com or on TFNN's YouTube channel and become the investor you were born to be. TFNN, educating investors. TFNN has just launched their new trading room, The Tiger's Den. Hosted at Discord, TFNN has been educating traders for more than 20 years with live programming hosted by a variety of professional traders during market hours. And now they are expanding their reach with The Tiger's Den. Available to all tigers and tigresses for just $1 for the year. There's no catch or added costs when you join our community of traders. In The Tiger's Den, you can look over the shoulders of Tom O'Brien and the other TFNN hosts while they analyze charts during their live Tiger TV programs and join an interactive trading community with hundreds of members exchanging ideas. Interact with other Tigers and Tigresses as they share trading ideas, news analysis, and discuss the market action all trading day, even at night and on the weekends. The Tiger's Den at Discord is accessible on mobile or tablets as well, so it's always at your reach. To sign up today and become a part of this educational community of traders, just visit the front page of TFM. This segment is brought to you by Think or Swim. For more information, just click the Think or Swim banner on the front page of TFNN.com. Welcome back, folks. Dow. Dow's down at 269. Nasdaq's up 25. S&Ps are off 10. We've got our man, Mr. Tim Ord. He is bisecting and dissecting the GDX for us right now. Okay, Tim, we're ready. All right. So anyhow, it's, um, so this is in a surge pattern, and it's supposed to last another four or five months, according to history of this type of signal. Yes. So it gives you a high around uh, the August September time frame. Now, if you go back to chart one, okay, we had a uh, uh, you know a rise. You know, all these signals on this monthly um, silver gold ratio gave at least a hundred. Well. All but one, at least 100% rise from this signal. Right. Well, the signal was last August. 
And if you, uh, you know, remember Gan? He always uh, oh yeah. The anniversaries I, of highs and lows were as important. Yes. Well, this is starting to point that you know August it could be an important high or a point in date because a year ago it was a important low nice. as far as GDX is concerned because yes. that was around twenty two. But if you go back to uh, chart one again, you know I'm predicting according to this indicator you should go at least a hundred percent a hundred points from the low well hundred points or a hundred percent from its low in August so August of last year uh, GDX was around 22 so if you take a hundred percent just like the XAU you add that on you come up with 44 you may see 44 sometime in August September of this year and that's also August again is a uh, anniversary date of its previous low so I'm thinking August could be an important high, not a long-term high, but some sort of a timeout where you may consolidate uh, for you know a period of time. So, now that will get interesting because uh, ne the next swing we have is 41, and then after that, oh look at those! Notice a beautiful swing at 45. Okay, one second, hold on. Let's put this up. Okay, here. Let me. I'm just going to put this over here for a second. Yeah, this is cool, Tim. Okay. So I get the GDX up here. So let's see what this swing is. Oh, this is pretty cool. Well, yeah, 40, 45 is the swing from, uh, that's way up there, man, of 2020, which is cool. Yeah. Right, right, that's okay. That's where we're heading. Yeah, so, okay. You know, nice. and it should get, there will be other indicators uh, when we get down the road, you know, maybe a month or so from now. Yes. We'll start and look type of signals that will indicate that we may be entering close to a high. So but yep. we don't need to worry about it right now. This, this according to is actually still cheap. If we get to 40, you know, I'm just saying 100%. Oh, no, no, I'm with you. That's exactly. You know, I, I get it. Trust me. I don't know. Right. But, oh. but I'm thinking August is going to be an important time frame. And we're up around 45 or higher. You know, we might be, be looking out uh, for that. So anyhow, that's my projection. August high, maybe September. Nice. Probably 44 or better. Okay. You want to go to a couple of other charts here? Yep. I got the third one up right now. Okay. This is, um, you know, tops have always been tough. Right. And, you know, you know, how, you know things are good. Got how long we can stay good. But what I found over, over the years is always a worrisome sign when the SP is going up and the VIX is going up with it. Yes. So when VIX goes up, it's a, it's a worrisome sign. So anyhow, this last top we had in uh, 2000, or yeah, late uh, yeah, late 2021, early 2022. If you notice the that I got that green shaded area. Yes. SPX was making higher highs, and the five day average, which is the bottom window of the SPX VIX ratio, was making lower highs. Okay. And so th that was uh, a warning sign that the VIX, I put it in a ratio because um, it just works out better. It, it kind of follows what the SP, so you can see is divergence better. Yes. And this is a weekly time frame, not a daily time frame. Right. So this divergence started to happen back in, in you know, uh, November, December time frame. And finally, January, you would hit a new high, and that ratio didn't come close to this, uh, to new high. Now, flip back to the next chart, chart four. Okay, we have it. And the only reason why I'm bringing it up is just it's more food for thought. If you go back in time, which I did all the way back to uh, 1990, whatever. But anyhow, you can see in 2020, same thing happened. You're you're hitting new highs on the S and P's uh, early 2020. And the ratio is going right, you know, straight down. Yes. Uh, so that was a huge divergence. So now let's go back to point three, to yeah. graph three again. I have it. And, and okay, now we're looking where we are right now. Okay. If you notice the S, this is a weekly chart. If the S and P's right now are testing the, uh, uh, well, it looks like about January highs. That's true. Yeah. If you go down to the ratio, the ratio is making higher highs than the January highs. How February cool is that? Like. Okay. Yeah. So what well, that's a positive divergence. Right. Now, if the S and P's were, were kind of flat and then that ratio starting making lower highs, you, you have to worry, but that's not what's happening here. This ratio suggests you're gonna break above 
the current highs, which is I got around 4,200 there, 4,100 on the SPX. And the VIX is actually holding strong, is hang, hanging around 17 or lower or in that vicinity. And or the S&Ps are, are kind of holding against this previous highs. So I'm thinking uh, as of last week, even though we haven't moved, we haven't really moved at all since our last uh, show last Friday or last Thursday, my opinion, we're, we're going to break above this 4,100, 4,200, and probably head back to the old highs of 4,700. And the, uh, the five-week SPX VIX ratio uh, suggests that uh, that to be true, I guess, because uh, that ratio is making higher highs where the S&P so far hasn't. So it's, it's just the reverse of what we're having back in January of uh, 2022, where the S&Ps were making higher highs and the uh, SPX VIX ratio is making lower highs. Here we have the opposite. S&Ps are kind of matching our previous highs, but the ratio is breaking out above its previous highs. Yes, and I'm going so to bring over a chart of what you're talking about, Tim. And it is amazing. I mean, we're, you know, if we take a look at this, you know, we've been in the same consolidation for almost a year and a half. <laughs> so, yeah. you know, the bottom line is that even you can see, you know, the, uh, we're going to have a break, folks, okay? And if you, if you do, you know, watch the market intraday, you can see, like even today, Tim, right? The, you know, the spread on the S&P is pretty incredible right now. And I know that, yep. you know, I mean, that's what, that's what happens with consolidations, right? I mean, if we take a look at the E-minis out here today, you know, we've had, I mean, right now you're down 10, 10 points or something. But the bottom line is that we were at, we're at 18 points off the, off the low and we're, you know, 20, well, we're, yeah, we're 14 points off the high, you know, so... That's a straight out consolidation. So, you know, I can, yeah. I, I love the setup that you're giving us, man. I mean, it's pretty intense, no yeah. doubt, man. So, yeah, we're not, we're not backing away from the highs either. You know, if we've right. been up here, you know, went to well, almost a month at this level. This is on a weekly chart. It's not like interday stuff. Yes. And we're not backing away from the highs. So, we're eating, my opinion, we're eating a supply up here. Yeah. Where we're selling, uh, there's buyers uh, stepping in. So, uh, we're going to see some energy uh, pop up here pretty quick, probably, you know, this month yet. It'll probably be to the upside. I like it. And listen, so, folks, uh, every uh, Thursday, uh, Tim's on, you know, bottom line, uh, the second and third segment. Uh, great work, Tim. You remember, folks, that this is archived. You can get it. Tim's going to be doing a workshop so you can understand how these tools work because they're phenomenal tools. Tim, thanks so much. You have a great one, safe one. We look forward to speaking to you next week. All right, thank you. Awesome. Stay right there, folks. Come right back. Market and Rocket Equities and Options Report is a newsletter you should try. Tommy O'Brien delivers options and equity trades when the markets present them using a combination of fundamentals and technicals. Sign up for Rocket Equities and Options Report today with a 30-day money-back guarantee so you have nothing to risk. For all the details and to start your subscription today, visit the front page of TFNN.com. TFNN, educating investors. You might think that if you want to be successful at trading in the stock market, you're going to need a crystal ball. After all, it's impossible to predict the future, right? Like any endeavor in life, before you decide it's impossible, get some advice from the experts. You might find that it's not so impossible after all. For daily market overviews that give you direction on the key indices, selective stocks, and commodities, subscribe to the opening call newsletter at TFNN.com. The opening call newsletter is written by Basil Chapman, creator of the trading methodology known as the Chapman Wave. The Chapman Wave up-down sequence gives you an edge in identifying price turns, finding the peaks and valleys in stock prices. Get the opening call newsletter by Basil Chapman in your inbox every day. First-time subscribers also get a 30-day money-back guarantee. If you're not satisfied, let us know, and you'll get a full refund within 30 days of signing up. TFNN.com, educating investors. Biotech is booming, but for how long? Whether you think the biotech bull has room to run or has run its course, trade LABU or LABD. Direction's daily S&P Biotech three times bull and bear ETFs. Visit directioninvestments.com slash biotech today.
An investor should consider the investment objectives, risks, charges, and expenses of the direction shares carefully before investing. The prospectus and summary prospectus contain this and other information about direction shares. To obtain a prospectus or summary prospectus, please contact direction shares at 866-476-7523. The prospectus or summary prospectus should be read carefully before investing. An investment in the funds is subject to risk, including the possible loss of principal. The funds are designed to be utilized only by sophisticated investors such as traders and active investors. Distributor Foresight Fund Services, LLC. TFNN has launched the Tiger's Den. Hosted at Discord, TFNN has been educating traders for more than 20 years with live programming hosted by a variety of professional traders during market hours. The Tiger's Den, available to all tigers and tigresses for just $1 for the year. There's no catch or added costs when you join our community of traders. Sign up today and become a part of this educational community of traders. Just visit the front page of TFNN.com. This program is brought to you by Vista Gold, traded on the NYSE American and TSX under the symbol VGZ. I'm O'Brien. Welcome back, folks. Uh, Dow. Dow Industrials right now are down at 273. Nasdaq's up 10. S&Ps are uh, down 14. And, you know, folks, remember this program's archive because, you know, the first time Tim and I, let's see, 94, I think... First time we were together is 96, 1996. <laughs> I mean, he stayed at my house and everything. We did a lot of business together. We traded together for a long period of time. Um, he has great tools, man. So those ratios, you want to go over those ratios. The ra he does ratios quite a bit. And the ratios are pretty cool. You just saw, get to see those. So check it out. You can you know, look at the archive as many times as you want. And Tim is going to be doing a workshop for us uh, in the near future. So uh, check this one out. Now, this is intriguing. Now, this is not Kathy Wood, but it is Kathy Wood is owed money from this firm. So this is intriguing. Let me just read this to you for a second, okay? So Ontario Security Watchdog suspended the registration of Emerge Canada, an investment firm known for selling Toronto-based versions of Kathy Wood's popular exchange-traded funds. The Ontario Secure, let's see, Ontario Security Commission said the firm had failed to comply with the capital requirements since at least September in order to wind down or find another company to take over its activities. Emerge Canner is banned from being an investment fund manager, portfolio manager, according to the order from the Director of Compliance. Emerge has been unable to file audited financial statements for 2022 after its auditor quit. In April, the regulator hit the investment firm with trading bans on 11 of its funds, including ARC investment managers. Emerge owes ARC 4.1 million American, according to the regulatory filing, and it can't pay unless it receives millions of dollars it's owed from Emerge Capital Management, a U.S. affiliate. You know, I, I don't quite get it, but it, I think what this is saying is that, let me see this. So they must sell, they must sell her funds up there. She probably set them up, but it doesn't, she's not a part owner of this. So this is a whole different firm, but for distribution of her funds, you know, and I suspect what this is, folks, this is, I mean, to go, if this was in the USA, what would end up happening is that just like the capital requirements, there's capital requirements that aren't every day. There's no, if this, this wouldn't happen in the USA, I can tell you that. In the USA, if they're undercapitalized, they're closed that day. They wouldn't go back to September. I, I can tell you that right now. Uh, but anyway, and I suspect what that's all about is that because the funds themselves have got hit so dramatically, they have a hard time probably making money in them on the funds themselves. And the amount of money that's owed is more than likely a percentage of whatever the deal that that securities company has with ARC, you know. Uh, if you do go, if we, we go over to ARC, um, so check this out. This, this, let me see. Um, oh. Whoops, one second, I'm going to find this because
what did happen is that she came in heavy yesterday to Pelletier. Now, this is the first time that, that if this was the first get-go, um, it's better than buying the highs, <laughs> I can tell you that. Um, but she, she put 45 million to work yesterday, and that's why you saw it, Pelletier. What is that? Okay, PLTR. Let's see this, PLTR. So now she's claiming Plantair, Plantair, not Pelletier, Plantair. She's claiming that she's into this now, and you can see you can see the move, and the move in a few days, it's at seven dollars to nine. She's looking at this as an AI firm. Now the thing that's in intriguing about this is that, as far as I know right now, this is not an AI firm. Okay, what this is. Let's see what they say here. The company offers solutions support many kinds of data, including structured, unstructured, you know. And they're saying they have customers worldwide, but let me pull this up here. Because this is what I want to show you. All their contracts, I, there, was a, there was a great, um, on Tuesday, there was a huge um, technology conference at Google, but all these big technology nerds were out there and they were getting interviewed. And this equity actually happened to come up. Now, what was so cool about this, you can see that, you know, they really, this equity hasn't been growing a lot. I mean, you know, the bottom line is that, well, actually, yeah, yeah, the numbers down the bottom don't match it. They did 1.98 billion last year, 2.2 billion this year. So, my understanding after listening to this, it was about a half hour show, was that this company here works for governments. Okay, you can see the United States is 57 percent. No, it's 1.2 billion of their revenue. So it's almost half. Their, that is half their revenue. The rest of the world. Um, yeah, 34 million. They work for governments, okay? Now, they only have about, I think they said 27 clients, but no, no more than 50 clients. Now, the problem is that when you're in the software business, right, you do the software and you scale it up. Now, I guess the good side is that, yeah, when you get green checks off the government, the bottom line is that, you know, yes, you're gonna grow on the government. The bad side of that is that, guess what? Each one of those operations that they do is a special operation so it's not like a piece of software that they can scale in general and as you know this this techno person was explaining that's not a good business model be because they're specialized softwares for each part of the governments you know so you know to, for her to say that this is an AI deal um, I don't know where she's getting it. <laughs> That's the bottom line. I, I suspect what she might be doing uh, is that that's part hype, you know, because what she did do, and, and this, is, this is intriguing. I wish I was at this uh, little promotion she was doing. She was doing a promotion right down the street from us at a uh, great little um, restaurant, the Birchwood, and what she was basically saying is that she was using you know, she was coming out saying that, yes, it's been a bad this and a bad that. And then she was bringing up the aspect that, hey, but you know what? Remember Amazon? And it was one of these very subtle deals like, I can't say she was making like she owned Amazon, but she was making like she did. <laughs> That's the real bottom line. It was very close. That was one of these deals that, yeah, you had it, and then all of a sudden it went up this much. So it was kind of, you know, it was kind of shaky. That's the real bottom line. So, and I mean, it doesn't look to me like that company is an AI company. <laughs> Dow, Dow Industrials right now down 266. Nasdaq's up 12. S and P's off 13. Stay right there, folks. Come right back.
Are you looking for a way to consistently add winning trades to your portfolio? Tom O'Brien is here to help. Tom O'Brien has been successfully trading markets for over 30 years. A frequent contributor to TD Ameritrade Network and CNBC, Tom O'Brien founded TFNN over 20 years ago to help educate investors just like you. Tom's daily market newsletter, Market Insights, is published every morning when the markets open to give you the competitive informational edge you need to succeed. These newsletters are packed full of Tom's advanced technical analysis and are geared to deliver comprehensive strategies for a successful portfolio. Get Tom O'Brien's newsletter, Market Insights, today and try all of our products and newsletters 30 days risk-free with our money-back guarantee at TFNN.com. TFNN, educating investors. You might think that if you want to be successful at trading in the stock market, you're going to need a crystal ball. After all, it's impossible to predict the future, right? Like any endeavor in life, before you decide it's impossible, get some advice from the experts. You might find that it's not so impossible after all. For daily market overviews that give you direction on the key indices, selective stocks, and commodities, subscribe to the opening call newsletter at TFNN.com. The opening call newsletter is written by Basil Chapman, creator of the trading methodology known as the Chapman Wave. The Chapman Wave up-down sequence gives you an edge in identifying price turns, finding the peaks and valleys in stock prices. Get the opening call newsletter by Basil Chapman in your inbox every day. First-time subscribers also get a 30-day money-back guarantee. If you're not satisfied, let us know and you'll get a full refund within 30 days of signing up. TFNN.com, educating investors. Everything in the universe is governed by the Fibonacci sequence. This mathematical principle is responsible for everything from the most aesthetically pleasing artwork to patterns in the stock market. To stay on top of stock patterns you can take advantage of, sign up for the Fibonacci 24-7 newsletter at TFNN.com. When you subscribe, you'll get a weekly report from veteran day trader Larry Pesavento on stocks you need to pay attention to. And you can trust Larry's analysis. After all, he's got 45 years experience as a day trader. Larry will also provide daily charts, videos, and data on the key markets that he's tracking. Expect notifications from Larry on market movement you need to act on at any time. First-time subscribers also get a 30-day money-back guarantee. If you're not satisfied, let us know and you'll get a full refund within 30 days of signing up. Subscribe to the Fibonacci 24-7 newsletter today. TFNN.com. Educating investors. Don't forget, you can listen to TFNN live on your mobile device 24 hours per day. Go to TFNN.com, then hit Watch Tiger TV. That's TFNN.com, then hit Watch Tiger TV. Welcome back, folks. Sit down. Dow and down 256. Nasdaq's uh, up 15. S&Ps are off 11. Let's go inside that Dow and see uh, what's moving that Dow. The Dow yesterday and today, I mean, there's big movements out here inside the Dow, there's no doubt about it. So today, would you have um, down movements or Disney? Disney's the number out here. That's down, uh, putting negative uh, 58 points. You have Honeywell putting 22, Caterpillar putting 12, uh, 21 rather. Positive, Boeing five, Walmart three. Now, if we get over to Disney, Disney came out with the numbers last night, bottom line, numbers, streaming numbers weren't there. You get a gap down. If we take a look at Disney, you know, put this on a monthly, you know, that, that uh, we're getting close to that high volume low, man. That's, that's out there. You know, you get, you get a, a low, what is that number? That number is 70, 70, 70, 77 bucks. You know, it's been into that March bar for quite some time. You know, you build the consolidation in there, but... This is actually today, let's see, no, I gotta put it on a weekly. Let me put this on a weekly. Let's see what kind of a jump we have. Okay, you gotta, you gotta jump, but not as much as, oh, I see what it's gonna do. Oh, this is cool, watch this. You, you wanna watch this, folks, okay? Because what it's gonna try to do, see, the last time it got to 86, it rejected it with tremendous light of volume, man. So this very well could get another rejection, because this is, this is actually, if you're into candlestick charting, this is actually a last engulfing. A last engulfing 
Uh, no, it isn't. No, because the gap down. It, it isn't. It's the last thing on the weekly, I bet, though. Let me see this for a second. Yeah, on a weekly, it's going to be a last engulfing. What a last engulfing is, is that it starts at the highs, gets to the lows, engulfs all the candles, looks terrible, but yet that's how lows get established. And then if you're checking this out, check out the November bar. Because the November bar, it looks like we're about four points away from where, where it could go, but that might be it. Always remember, folks, the bear can claw your heart out, the bull can run you over, and thank God, there's always another trade. Health happens in prosperity. Have a great night, a safe night, folks. Come back and visit Tommy tomorrow morning. Kicks us off, 9 a.m. Great show, folks. Wow! Look at him, folks. <laughs>